guys, so I'm here at Dallas Airport and I'm very emotional right now because I just went through security and I chose a line that purposely wasn't going through the body scanner, which I've read so many terrible things and I do a lot of traveling, so I said to myself, I will always opt out of that thing or try my best to go in a line, a security line that doesn't require you to go through the machine because of the high radiation levels and like I said, I travel a ton, I don't want to get more radiated than I already do in everyday life. So I chose the line that didn't seem to be going through that scanner and when I got to the to the front of the security, they told me to go through the scanner and I said, I don't want to go through there, I want to go through this line. That's why I came to this line and waited behind other people. I mean, the other line was empty. It seems like nobody wants to use that scanner or go through it. So I waited in line and the guy said, well, you don't have to go through the scanner, but if you opt out, you're going to get a full body pat down. And I said, fine. And this was the second time that this has happened to me. It happened to me at LAX before on my way to Rio. And now I'm going home. Um, so I'm flying through Dallas. And um, the pat down at Dallas Airport was completely different than the one I got at LAX. And I'm sure this woman was just doing her job. But she, I mean, she actually felt, touched my vagina. And so I think that's why I'm crying. That's why I'm so emotional because I'm already so upset that they're making me go, making me do this, making me choose to either get molested, because that's what I feel like, and or, or go through this machine that's completely unhealthy and dangerous, and I don't want to go through it. And, and here I am crying, never in my wildest dreams that I think that this was going to make me cry, but I'm crying because I'm just really, really upset that as an American, I have to go through this and I do feel violated. I didn't think that I would when I had to opt out of the machine, but I completely feel violated. This woman, she touched my vagina four times because she went up my leg, up both legs from behind and then turned around and did it in the front. So that was my experience this morning at Dallas Airport. So I just talked to TSA, I spoke to a supervisor, Camila, she's very sweet, um, and she gave me this card. This is a TSA customer comment card, and I am supposed to fill it out, and she gave me three options. I can call and complain, I can fill this out and mail it, or I can go to tsa.gov and fill out a complaint there. Um, so I have no idea what this is going to do. I'm hoping that other people that feel violated as an American will make these complaints and complaints and maybe they'll change something if they get enough of them. I don't know. That's why I'm doing it because I'm hoping that something will change in the near future because I was thinking about it and I'm like, you know, drug smugglers, sometimes I've heard they put drugs up their rectum. So what happens when, you know, a bomber or somebody, a terrorist, puts something up their rectum? Are, they, are we going to get rectal exams at the airport? Is that what's next? It just, this whole thing is very troublesome to me, and it pisses me off. I'm clearly upset about it. And, um, you know, one of the a very sweet older woman who was uh, an airport volunteer came over to me, and she was trying to comfort me because she saw me crying, and I asked her to get me a supervisor, a TSA supervisor, and she said, well, honey, you know what? She's like, I'd rather do a pat down or go through the scanner than, you know, be blown up. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'm supposed to find comfort in that, but I didn't. Um, so, I don't know, it's just all very odd, and I feel like none of this works anyway. So, um, we'll see. I'm going to fill out my card, I'm going to go online and fill out a complaint online, and I'm also going to call. I'm going to do all three. So hopefully they will hear me loud and clear. Hey 
guys, so I'm here at Dallas Airport and I'm very emotional right now because I just went through security and I chose a line that purposely wasn't going through the body scanner, which I've read so many terrible things and I do a lot of traveling, so I said to myself, I will always opt out of that thing or try my best to go in a line, a security line that doesn't require you to go through the machine because of the high radiation levels and like I said, I travel a ton, I don't want to get more radiated than I already do in everyday life. So I chose the line that didn't seem to be going through that scanner and when I got to the to the front of the security, they told me to go through the scanner and I said, I don't want to go through there, I want to go through this line. That's why I came to this line and waited behind other people. I mean, the other line was empty. It seems like nobody wants to use that scanner or go through it. So I waited in line and the guy said, well, you don't have to go through the scanner.